Many California wineries take advantage of the weekend before Valentine's Day to do some extra marketing. The Fresno County Wine Journey is a self-guided wine tasting tour of several wineries, all of which are participating in the special Wine and Chocolate Lovers event this weekend. Brett Engelman is the owner and winemaker of the award-winning Engelman Cellars. He says these special wine weekends are a great way to bring attention to local agriculture and especially local wineries. You know that there's a lot of stuff being grown out here, but a lot of people don't know exactly what's being grown. So when they come out, they realize that, you know, all these vines that they see, they're not all raisins. I mean, there's a lot of raisins in Fresno County, but most people just assume, oh yeah, they're all raisins. They're, Fresno County is the largest wine grape growing county in the nation. So they're not all just raisins. There's a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay. While getting a tour of Engelman's Vineyard, I learned his wine recently got a special recognition. Because uh, Cabernet is a real popular wine. It just won us a bronze medal, San Francisco Chronicle, three weeks ago. We entered seven wines in the competition. We ended up getting five medals. Oh, so we're pretty proud of that, all from local grapes. And the Cabernet was one of those. And the Cabernet is also, it's probably our biggest seller because that's the one that I also have in five local Costco's. Engelman says selling his wine in local Costco stores has been a great success. But he says the special wine journey events, like the Valentine's Day Wine and Chocolate Lovers Weekend, are a great marketing tool for wineries. Well, the, the wine, Fresno County Wine and Chocolate Lovers Weekend, it's, you know, we do it right before Valentine's Day every year. And it's just one of those great events to kind of kick off the year where we have a bunch of vendors, some wineries have live music, um, just little things that make people say, that we're open every week and Saturday and Sunday, but this is just that little bit extra saying, well, this is a great reason to go out because we can, we can go shopping for little knickknacks, a little purse or some hats, or we have a homemade toffee going to be sold here. But at the same time, while we're there, we're going to taste all the wines. Um, most of all the wineries are going to have specials going on, some kind of specials to, to, on the wine. So this is a great time to, to pick up that special bottle. And we love right before Valentine's Day because you can pick up that special bottle for Valentine's Day. But it's just that kind of little nudge to kind of say, hey, this is the weekend that we want to go out wine tasting. And it's right now with the with the strength in numbers, I mean, we're getting more and more wineries out here. So back in the day, we used to do wine talk. I remember our second wine talk of the lovers weekend where we were playing tennis in the backyard because we had no customers. I think we had three cars that day and we were excited. It was the second year in business. It wasn't, you know, we were excited. Now, I mean, honestly, this weekend, I will see over a thousand people roll through for the weekend. So it's funny how things have grown in, in the last nine years. But it's, uh, it's definitely, it's a good weekend. The weather's usually perfect right around middle of February. It's gonna be nice weather come out. You can even buy a bottle or wine by the glass and hang out at the wineries and just kinda, you know, a lot of us have grassy areas or some have like bocce ball courts. Um, it's just a fun time. According to the USDA, California grows about 480,000 acres of wine grapes each year. On the Fresno County Wine Journey, I'm Sabrina Hill for Agnet West.